By 2035, France is a dystopia. Mass unemployment, violent demonstration, privatized state, breakdown of public services. Graphically violent television showing brutal fights is trending. The government keeps the nation entertained through the violent shows to avoid a full-blown revolution. Aris, a veteran, fights and works for the police. His sister is arrested, leading Aris to fight harder. The movie opens in Paris in 2035. A man is narrating that he was 10 years old when he came to Paris. At that time, it was a prospering country, but presently there are 15 million unemployed and homeless people in Paris. Everything has changed. The government has bought everything, even its policies. People can sell themselves, and drugs are legal. People still hope that everything will change and protest for it, but some have lost hope. Later, two men are seen fighting in the boxing arena. The man narrating is one of them, named Aris. Aris says that big companies have invested in sports. The winner is the face of the pharmaceutical companies. Aris tells that 10 years ago, he also used the best doping substance. However, he used a new product and got a stroke. In the present, Aris is seen being examined by the doctor because of a head injury caused previously. A man comes in and tells him to collect his money from the coach. He comes across a female named Altman who appoints him for a mission. He is also in a relationship with Altman. Later, Aris is seen riding in a van with other men. They arrive in front of a building owned by Denevia where people are protesting. Aris has joined the police force. He sees a red-haired woman being pushed into a police van by officers. At night, Aris leaves the police station and the red-haired woman is seen with him. They ride the train together. It is revealed that the red-haired woman is Aris' niece, Anuku. Meanwhile, the news is being cast that, according to the New Weapon Act, firearms are illegal. Ara takes his niece to his sister Clara and shows her the dreadful impact of doping drugs. Clara works for a news channel, Info 34. Aris tells her that people are not forced to use it and the risks are told beforehand. A man named Boris, working with Aris's sister, denies it and says the pharmaceutical companies are lying. Aris tells them to stop working to expose Dovania and he won't raise his voice because he likes the money. The next day, we see a corporate woman named Anna going off to the head office of Dovania. She tells the CEO that more than 10,000 people have died of the drug. He tells her to try the drug on Aris as he was once a top fighter. Later, Anna goes to the boxing arena to ask Aris to try the drug, but he refuses to do so. His coach even tries to convince him to use it. Aris tells his coach that he does not want to die. Upon hearing Aris refuse, Anna tells him that the drug has been tested on his blood and it reacted well. However, Aris still declines and leaves the office while his coach calls him a loser. The next day, Aris wakes up and exits his flat. He has an encounter with his neighbor, Myosotis. Myosotis calls Aris a fascist, and Aris, in reply, poofs at him. Aris goes towards the elevator, where he meets two officials. After a while, Aris is seen sitting with a lawyer, who tells Clara he has been accused of possessing a gun. Aris is shocked to hear this and tries to take blame for it. However, Aris is unable to answer the questions the lawyer asks him about the gun proving his innocence. The lawyer also tells him that the father of his nieces has been shifted to Canada. Hence, if he does not take them, they will be taken to social services. Aris asks the lawyer to meet his sister, but he denies it, as Clara has been charged as a terrorist. Later, Aris takes his niece, Anuku, and May with him. While going up in the elevator, he calls Altman to rescue his sister. She tells him to keep it in private, and not to create a hype of it. As they reach the top, they see Boris telling the news reporter about Clara being arrested. He comes to Aris and tells them that they have evidence that Clara has been framed. After hearing Boris's verdict, Aris asks to talk to him in private. Actually, he takes Boris to the bathroom and tells him to stay out of the situation. To terrorize him, he forcefully pushes his head into the pot. Boris keeps on telling Aris that he's making a mistake but Aris does not listen. In the evening, 
Aris visits Clara at the jail by bribing the officer. He tells Clara that her daughters are with him. Clara is relieved to hear this, but Aris tells her to not get in trouble in the jail as he won't be able to save her. While Aris gets up to leave, Clara asks for his help to get out of jail. At night, Aris makes food for the girls while Anoku talks on the phone with Boris. Aris snatches the phone from Anoku and tells her to stay away from Boris. This angers Anoku, and she has an argument with Aris. Aris tries to ignore her, but in anger, she throws the food on the chair. Aris gets angry and slaps her on the face. After Aris slaps Anoku, she calls him a perfect cop because of obedience and violence, and leaves. Aris stops her from leaving, but she does not listen and runs away. Worried for Anoku, Aris drops May at his neighbor's house and goes to look for Anoku. He comes across a group of boys harassing her. Aris puts up an intense fight with the group of boys, saving Anoku. Anoku starts to cry and tries to explain, but Aris gets angry with her. He explains to her that to get her mother released, they need money and that the prison is a dangerous place. While going back home, Aris receives a call from Altman, who tells him to meet her. Later, Altman tells him that the story is viral, hence she cannot stop him. She also tells him that weapons is a serious crime, and even the demand of money is huge, as in a hundred thousand euros. She tells him that he needs to get the money as soon as possible before the case goes to court. In the evening at the arena, they use the new drug HSX on different blood samples. Luckily, the drug does not react on RS blood. RS asks about other side effects of the drug. He is told that one loses consciousness after five minutes and they are unsure of the effect on the heart. After listening to all the side effects, Aris asks about the plan. His coach tells him about the European Championship qualifying match. He tells Aris that if he wins three rounds, he will get 12,000 euros and 100,000 right away in hand. At night, Aris comes to pick up the girls from Myosotis's house. He asks Myosotis about his profession, who tells him that he is a drag artist. The next day, the championship participants are announced. Aris is paired with Perenza, who is a successful fighter endorsed by Perk Laboratories. Upon hearing this, the coach gets restless as he believes Aris does not have a chance. He refuses to bet for him. At home, Aris gives 15,000 euros to Myosotis to bet on him in the championship. Myosotis warns him of the risk, but Aris dismisses it. The day of the championship arrives. People are not hopeful for Aris's win. He gets injected with HSX and goes into the ring to fight Perenza. The match begins and Aris puts up an amazing fight, defeating Perenza. Once the match is over, Aris throws up blood and loses consciousness. Later, at a meeting at Dovinia, the CEO promotes his drug HSX by showing Aris's win. He tells the investors of the economic benefits and productivity. After a while, Aris gains consciousness. His coach tells him to fight further to win the championship, but Aris refuses. Anna tells Aris that the deputy general has sent him an offer as his body has responded well to the drug. They want to help launch the drug into the market. She also tells him that a new coach has been hired for him. At night, Aris goes back home to be welcomed by May, Anuku, and Myotosis. He informs them that he will continue to the championship to get the reward. Anoku opposes it, calling the laboratories inhumane. He tells Anoku he cannot change the rules and he would like them to live comfortably. Over the next few days, HSX's popularity increases and Dovinia benefits from it. Later, he goes to the jail and gives Altman 100,000 euros to get her sister out. He is called inside. When he goes in, he finds his sister dead because she defended some new prisoners. Aris decides to find the culprit of his sister's death and asks Altman to find the person who framed his sister. The next day, Aris's new opponent is announced, La Masse. While he watches the news, Boris calls asking for help. He wants Aris to help expose the real number of victims affected by HSX. 
Boris convinces him that Dovinia is behind his sister's death and tells him about the photo booth from where the informant called. Surprisingly, it is his coach at the arena. He goes to the arena, but does not confront him. The next day, La Masse fights fiercely and defeats Arius in 17 seconds. Later, it seems that the coach is dead in the back room. Seeing Aris defeat caused restlessness at Dovinia headquarters. After the match, Myotosis is seen waiting for Aris. It is revealed that the coach is killed by them. Aris tells Myotosis to go away with the girls and the money to save themselves. He also gives Altman a number in case of an emergency. Meanwhile, Aris arrives at the arena and shows the coach the drug. He tells him he had not taken it and injects it to kill the coach. Meanwhile, Anna arrives at the arena and tells Aris that his nieces are in their custody. Aris calls to check on them and is surprised to hear Altman on the phone. We find out that Altman has been working for Dovinia. It was her who gave them the idea to frame his sister. Back at the apartment, Myotosis calls to check on the girls, but gets skeptical on hearing Anoku call him to come home. He checks on the girls through the camera installed in the house. The girls had been kept as captive by Altman. He calls for Boris to help save the girls after the true revolution of Altman's identity. Boris and Myotosis go to the apartment with a gun. As soon as Altman peeks through the peephole, they shoot her. Meanwhile, Aris is questioned at the headquarters. He confesses for not using the drug before the match. Anna injects the drug into him and shows the board of directors the effects of the drug. As Aris is told to exhibit, Boris comes on the screen, telling him that the girls are saved. Relieved by the news, he kills the CEO of Dovinia, throwing him out the window. Later, he has an intense fight with two other fighters, but eventually beats them as well. He then gives access to the computer to Boris to reveal the true number of deaths caused by Dovinia, which was 30,126. The movie ends with him committing suicide to save his nieces the trouble. If you enjoyed this movie recap, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of these, subscribe to the channel and check out our other videos.